to view the five major rivers of Virginia. I am uh, so glad that, that you are here with us. I'm the mighty James River. I have, I am uh, the most southern, southern river in Virginia, located at the bottom right-hand corner of the map. Hi, James. I'm the York River. I'm the river right above you, just a little bit off the right side of Virginia. I guess I should jump right in because I am the Rappahannock River. I am the river above the York, halfway up the side of Virginia on the map. And I am the Potomac River at the very tip top of Virginia. You know the neat thing about those four rivers is that we all flow into the Chesapeake Bay. Don't forget about me. I'm the Shenandoah River. I'm in the western part of Virginia and I flow into you. But technically, if you flow into me and I flow into the Chesapeake Bay, you flow into the Chesapeake Bay too through me. I think uh, we should take a moment and advertise for our river. I think that is a great idea. We should start. How about we start with the James since he is at the very bottom, then we can work our way up the map of Virginia, the way the water the rivers flow. Okay, well, I'm the James River, like I said before. I start from uh, two western sugar routines and, and three ridge mountains and flow down uh, the Piedmont and push the Piedmont. Settlers traveled uh, by boat and then uh, up the James River. Uh, they had to stop uh, at the fall because they could not get their boats up over the water flows on the river. So they painted the city of Richmond right there. So Richmond is on the fall and then we got it. So who's next? I am. Again, I am the York River. <laughs> Didn't I hear you were rather short? Huh. Yes, I'm somewhat short. I'm only 34 miles long. But you must give me credit for having two longer tributaries feed into me. Which two tributaries? The Mattapony and the Palm Monkey. Wow, they sound like Indian tribes. Mm -hmm. They are. They form a Y if they go into me. <gasps> the York. Hey, why pull you a quiver? Great observation, James. What cities are along you? Well, I'm we talking of the great Indian vision village capital of the Powhatan Indian was a warning It was called the Waro Warmaco. Wow, that's quite an impressive sounding name. Well, it was an impressive village. Is it still around today? No, not anymore. Only the remains of the village have been discovered by archaeologists through Jane. You mean the Indian artifacts have been discovered near there? Yes, indeed. I have a lot of history near me. The other major town on my river is Yorktown. Yorktown was the location of a famous fort during the Revolutionary War. Isn't that the, isn't that the spot where the British slandered to the Patriots and won the whole world? Yes. George Washington 
Britain's Continental Army in the Battle of Yorktown over the British there. Cool. Well, I am the Rappahannock River. I am about 195 miles long, and I flow from west to east into the Chesapeake Bay. On the map of Virginia, you are the one right above me. Right, Rappahannock? You got it. Start in the Blue Ridge Mountains and make my way across the Piedmont and Coastal Plain before dumping out my waters into the bay. The major city along me is Frederick, Fredericksburg. Do you have any history located with you? I do, I do. Many early colonists set me up settlements near me. Then, during the Civil War, many battles were fought between the Confederate and the Union armies near me. Where does your rep where does your name Rappahannock come from? Actually, my name comes from a Algonquian Algonquian. Indian word that means river of quick rising water, which was my which was the name used by the York local native population, the Rappahannock Indian tribe. Wow, so not only do rivers tell us about the settlements that came up along the Bill of Ends, but rivers are also in our history. And not just uh, the history of English colonists, but also the Native Americans, like the Rappahannock. Fascinating. You know my name, the Potomac. Also has a group of Indians. Really? Tell us more. Potomac is the Algonquian word that means the place where people trade. It was also the name of the Indian tribe that lived nearby the river. So were the, the locations along here where people may have traded? Is that is that's what the word Potomac literally means? Great question. The major city along the Potomac is Alexandria. The Potomac River also forms the border between Washington, D.C. and Virginia. Wow, if you look closely at the map, most of Virginia's border is at the top of the outline of the Potomac River. Yes, it sure is. A lot of states' border, borders look squiggly. If they do, like Virginia is up on top, then it's most likely a river forming that border. And in this case, it's me, the Potomac. So how long are you? I am very long. I am 405 miles long. Do you have any history along you that we should know about? Well, one of the most famous houses of a famous American is located along me. Who, who? Let me guess. Okay, the first president of the United States. Oh, I know it. George Washington. Quite so. George Washington's home, Mount Vernon, is located along my riverbank on the Potomac. Wow, that's so neat. I want to be going to Mount Vernon on a field trip later this year. You heard right, we are. So when you come to Mount Vernon, you will definitely see me, the Potomac River. So that means that most of the kids here have seen you, Potomac. Oh, yes, that's very true. So that means that most of the kids have seen you, Potomac? The question is, have they ever seen me? I'm a river flowing into the Potomac on the west side of the Ridge Mountain. Shenandoah, it's a beautiful name. Wasn't there a song written about it? 
Yes. Ocean Gorilla, I want to hear you always use flow, flowing river. Now, I might get the flow of us, so you will flow south the to north along with the along the wood shed of the ship of the Oh, look. 